So team, keep it clean. What's going on? St. Graven here with another video. I hope y'all are doing really, really good. I, I just want to say before we get into things, I really appreciate y'all a lot. Um, I love y'all a lot, and I thank you for um, just being so positive, uh, always being uplifting, um, always having respect for everybody, each other, um, and always just showing love, man. So that that's real right there. So I appreciate y'all for always doing that so consistently. Um, now yesterday, y'all know yesterday was Lamar Jackson, his fun day, his annual fun day that he has uh, every year And we went there for a little while, but it turns out that it was like even better than we knew it was uh, It turned out even better than expected um, Because, y'all know, we got there super late Like during the fun day, we were on here asking y'all what an off-ball linebacker was uh, And that's, that's after it had started and whatnot um, and thank you all for clarifying that. It's, it's literally a very simple explanation. Uh, just somebody who plays off the ball, who's not, a, not engaged with like an offensive lineman, pretty much an inside linebacker. So y'all explain that in just super simple terms, and I appreciated that a lot. So thank you. Um, but anyway, we got there. Like it's, It went from 11 to 4. Well, the times were from 11 to 4. We didn't get there till about 2. So me and Carter. Uh, my wife, she usually comes with us. Uh, but she had a uh, a wedding shower uh, to go to for one of our friends who's getting married in October. Um, but anyway, uh, we we got there, and it was me and Carter. We got there, and we had missed a lot of the outside activities because uh, there was like they had like laser tag, and they had all the, the bounce houses and stuff outside. But y'all know South Florida how it rains down here. And it rains a lot and rain can change everything like that um so by the time we were heading out that way uh the rain had like really closed a lot of the stuff that happened on the outside um we got there i was upset man because because i know my guy nitro i know he he went too for a little while but we had just missed him um i did see my guy busy up there so shout out to busy uh gonna be working with him soon um, saw my guy Lenny, shout out to Lenny, uh, good seeing him as always um, But yeah, we uh, when we got there, everything was in the gym uh, So all the kids, they were playing football in the gym and stuff And they were playing music and all that, and it was chill Then, then Lamar got there, um, so Lamar was there, Zay Flowers was there And again, it was just like a normal fun day Because normally at the fun days, um, Lamar, he'll t talk to everybody Talk to all the kids, the parents, everybody Talk to everybody. It's super chill. It's super lax. Like obviously, um, he is a a star. He's a star, especially down here. But it's like it's different because it's it's like he's like the most chill, famous person that you would meet. Um, extremely chill, extremely humble. Never on no cocky stuff. Never on no arrogant stuff like at all. Um, it's just super approachable. Again, I always talk about his memory. He got a crazy good memory. Um, but anyway, uh, when we took the picture with him, uh, Carter, he, he was happy, man. Carter was happy because Carter, he, like, knows who Lamar Jackson is. He knows Lamar Jackson. Um, I think this was, I mean, can you meet somebody three times? Because this was, like, a, this this was Carter's was it the third time meeting Lamar. Yeah, it's third time meeting him, so I, like, is it really even meeting anymore? But it, anyway, um, but it, it was cool, man. It, it, was, it, was, it was really, really cool uh, as usual. But with Carter, he he wasn't feeling the best. He was a little tired. Uh, so we ended up, after we met Lamar, uh, Zay Flowers was there, too. Uh, we didn't get to say what's up to him, uh, I guess, next time. But um, we, we had ended up leaving a little after we had met up with Lamar. But then... I found out like hold up man like they really like putting on man they really did their thing um zay flowers of course he's from fort lauderdale no he's from i know he's from Broward. is he from fort lauderdale or is he from hollywood either way he's from Broward county so he's from the same county that lamar jackson's from um so i thought that he may be there um it's always a possibility because like i said in the video yesterday you never know who's gonna pop up at these things you never know who's gonna show up and zay flowers of course he was there but then, after we left, I'm just scrolling on Twitter, and I see OBJ done came through, too. I'm like, oh, that was, that was cool, man. That was cool. I was really happy for, like, all the kids and stuff that got to meet 
and see OBJ. Um, I guess he had got there after we had me and Carter had left already. But that was needed him that he pulled up, man. Because with OBJ, oh man, I'm over here about to knock the mic out. With OBJ, like he has really, and we know OBJ is a superstar. Like he is known everywhere. He be everywhere. And to have that on the Baltimore Ravens is crazy. Because the Ravens, have the Ravens ever had a superstar on the team? Like a superstar. Like Ray Lewis was obviously extremely popular. Lamar Jackson is extremely popular. But a super, superstar. Like Odell Beckham Jr. is on another level as far as stardom. And yeah, he may be the most popular uh, player that the Ravens have ever acquired. Um, but anyway, uh, with Odell Beckham Jr., for him to take the time out of his offseason and show up to that that says a lot to me that said a lot a whole lot to me because it's like these dudes are really they really building something because they're teammates they got a job to do together but this whole Odell Beckham Jr. going to the Lamar Jackson Zay Flowers going to the front they ain't got to do that they ain't got to show up to that that's not in their job requirements because that's not that ain't got nothing to do with the Baltimore Ravens at all. Nothing to do with that. It's not an it's not an off season workout program. It's not training camp. It ain't mini camp. It's none of that. No. But the fact that both of them they came through and they were showing everybody love and whatnot, that says a whole lot. That said a whole lot to me at least. I'm like, oh, these these boys really own it, man. And that just we talk about it all the time. How um just you know how at work, and if you have an out of work relationship with somebody, it can improve your in work relationship with them. And what I mean when I say that, if like if you have a rapport, if you cool, like if it's one of your one of your boys, and y'all cool outside of work, y'all might chill, y'all might go get drinks together, whatever, y'all might chill together, whatever. Uh, but that can help that rapport that y'all have outside of work. It can help make working together that much easier, that much smoother. Like even for, for, for me with doing this, like if we have somebody on the channel, there are, there are a lot of people like there's some people that and, and it ain't no problem, of course, where there's some people if we have them on, we'll talk about whatever it is that we talk about. And it's like, boom, OK, then they get off and it's, and it's over. But there are other people that when we bring them on, we'll be talking before we even start recording, we'll be talking for like 30, 40 minutes. Uh, and then we'll do the video. And then we'll end up talking another 30, 40 minutes after we finish recording the video. It, it's, it's just different, man. It's a different vibe when you have that, that chemistry with somebody uh, when you're working. But also when you're not working, it just makes stuff easier, makes stuff smoother, makes stuff that much more fun. So with Lamar and, and Zay and OBJ, it was nice that they were there. So that, that was cool because it, that says a lot about their relationship to me. It says a lot about what they're trying to do. I saw the video. Again, we had left already by the time they were doing that. But we saw the videos of them playing football on the field and stuff. Um, it was cool, man. It, it was really nice to see. And again, these these things, like, it, it makes such a big difference with these kids. And well, not even just the kids, just everybody who's there. Because it's Lamar Jackson. It's his fun day. But it's for everybody else. It's not for him. It's not for, hey, hey, I'm Lamar Jackson. You want to come meet me? It's another, no, it's not for him. It's for everybody else. And he does it every single year. Every year. Um, and then another thing, too, which I, I really, I, of course, we all saw the video of him buying the uh, the ice cream for everybody. That was cool. And I'm sure he probably going to end up doing that today, too. We're not going to be going today. Today, I know they're doing a seven on seven. We had went last year. But um, I was like, right, well, I'm, I'm going to just chill this year. But anyway, um, when he bought the ice cream for everybody, it's like he just he's he's very, very giving him and his people. They are very, very giving. Um, I saw another thing that I really like. I was like, wow, that's crazy um, that I didn't even realize like they had the uh, the new air the clothing and stuff um the not air eight apparel stuff they had they had that they had the socks they had the shoes they had the shirts they had all of that stuff and i'm like okay well i, I would expect them to be selling that or whatever because again hey the, the, why not why not this this is your business but they were even giving that stuff away for free 
for free. Giving away shoes. It ain't no dingy stuff now. It ain't no dingy stuff. Like Carter still got a uh, a Forever 8 Dreamer shirt from last year that he got from last year. Still in great condition. Well, it ain't in the best condition because he did. He used to spill some stuff on it. He spilled some food on it or something. But it's still in great condition minus that. So it's, it's good material. So the fact that they were giving away stuff for free. For free. Again, just you appreciate stuff like that. You really appreciate stuff like that. And you appreciate people who are willing to do stuff like that. Especially somebody like a Lamar J. And some people could be like, oh, man, he got all the money in the world. He should be doing it. No. You don't have to. Because he's a businessman. And if he was selling the stuff, I wouldn't be mad. Okay, hey, get your money, man. I ain't never going to be mad at nobody getting that money. But the fact that they were giving away that stuff for free, like, wow. All right, man. So I, I, I loved it, man. But um, he's good people, man. He, 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 he's really, uh, he's good people, man. And I was just talking to my guy Nitro about it yesterday. Like, when you... When you meet people um, and you meet, uh, whether it be a football player or whatever, if you meet somebody and they just, they, you, and, and you met them a couple of times and they've continued to have consistency with showing you who they are, how they are, then that makes you want to see them succeed that much more. It makes you just want the best for them that much more. And that's how it is with him. Every, every single time we done met him, he's been the exact same. Super chill, laid back, smiling. Laughing, joking around, humble, just chill, chill every single time. He never, he n never, not never acts like, oh, I'm a star. You need to talk a certain way to me. You need to look a certain way with me. You need to be a certain. No, 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 none of that, man. None of that. So I, I appreciate it a lot, man. So shout out to Lamar. Uh, shout out to just all the this, the whole staff from yesterday. Everybody. Um, cause it's, it's, it's a really nice experience, man. I wish more people got to experience it. Um, I know different people live in different states and whatnot, so I know it ain't so easy or whatnot, but, um, he good people, man. He, he, he real good people, man. And he got a good support system, uh, around him too. Uh, and they, they get stuff done, man. They get stuff done, but they, they have a good time getting it done. They know how to have a good time and, and they, they do a good job of looking out for other people too. Um, like even when you go to the restaurant, uh, the Lamar Jackson Play Action Soul Food, um, they just the way that they treat you, how they patient with you, uh, the portions are great, um, the food is great. And now that I'm saying this out loud and thinking about it, it makes me want to go get the turkey wings because that's my favorite thing that's there. Uh, but man, they just they 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 good people though, man. They they real good people. Um, so shout out to all of them, man. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to to, to let y'all know uh, my point of view, uh, uh, how it was, man, this year. Um, so it was cool, man. It was cool. So shout out to Lamar. Shout out to uh, just everybody who was a part of it uh, and everybody who will be a part of it today, too, because it's not over. Um, but today is more focused on the seven on seven. So I'm sure you'll see cool videos and stuff happening today. Lamar probably going to end up doing something else for everybody. So we'll see how it goes. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And we out.